Hello everyone. My name is Vasan Nagarajan and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. So in this session, we'll be focusing on how to enable per device configuration for a 9800 wireless controller. This session is focused on an assurance only setup where you have simply added the controller to the inventory and assigned the controller and the access points to their respective sites. So per device configuration is one of the latest features which got introduced in 2379 version of Catalyst Center, where we enable customers to add devices from their existing infrastructure, or as in this case, their assurance only devices can be discovered. And then we give users a way to learn the configurations and then visualize them on the Catalyst Center UI, similar to what you would see on the 9800 web UI. And not just that, we also give ways to manage the configurations. For example, if a user wants to read or modify the configuration or let's say delete certain configs or add new configurations, we give users an ability to do that as well. Now there are some prerequisites to enable per device configuration on Catalyst Center. First is your 9800 wireless controller should be running release 17.12 or later. Catalyst Center software version should be 2379 or later. Device li level license, we support essential DNA essential license onwards. And for devices which are already provisioned on Catalyst Center using network profiles, today only config visibility is supported. Now let's take a look into how to enable per device configuration for your wireless devices. Now since this is an assurance only setup, the device would already be part of the inventory. From here it's just a three step process. Go to the device details, so once you go into the view device details, on the top left corner, you would see the option to enable per device configuration. Click on that and enable. The final, the third step would be to resync the device from the inventory. So once you go to the inventory, click on the device actions and then resync the device, per device configuration would be enabled for this device. Now let's take a look into the different use cases of per device configuration. The first use case is learning and providing a visibility of the device configuration. Now, as you can see here on the configurations tab, we see different configurations available. One is a WLAN profile config. You can click into the WLAN profile and see further granular details like your general settings, your layer two settings where you also see all your security level settings, then your AAA related configurations or your layer three related configuration. So all the WLAN profile configurations is available here to view. Similar to that, you'd also be able to see your policy profile configs, your tag related configs like your site tags, policy tags, uh, and also your AP level config where you can see what are the different tags which are modified, which are applied to the access points like your policy tags, site tags. Now the second use case is editing device configuration. Now let's say a user wants to edit certain configuration under the configuration tab. For example, site tags. So they can click on the site tags, see what are the site tags which are present, click on one of the site tags which they want to edit. Uh, if they want to add a flex profile, they can disable the local site and add the flex profile which they want to. After that, they can review and provision this uh, change on the controller. So this is going to take you through the VCR workflow where you can visualize what configuration would be pushed onto the device. And once you are satisfied with you know, what configuration would be pushed, you can go ahead and deploy the change on the wireless controller. The third use case is delete device configuration. Now let's say a user wants to delete some configuration on the device. Uh, in this example, uh, policy profiles. They can click on the policy profile they want to delete under the actions, select the delete option. And once we do that, it's again going to take us through the VCR workflow so that we can validate what configuration would be pushed onto the device. So it is going to do, uh, preview, show you a preview of what configuration would be pushed. And once you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and deploy this configuration on the device. Now coming to the final use case, which is if you want to create a configuration from scratch, that is also possible. So let's say you want to create a new policy profile. You go to the policy profile, click on add, uh, give the policy profile name, and then all the configurations which you want to enable, as you would see on the 9800 wireless controller, would be available here as well. So in this case, we define a VLAN, which is VLAN 160, and then review and provision that change. So this is going to take you through the VCR workflow, where you can validate what configuration is going to be pushed onto the wireless controller. 
and we'll also do show you a preview of the config so once you validate what config would be pushed you can go ahead and deploy that change as soon as you click on submit it's also going to show you a progress where we show you that you know we're creating this policy profile into the device now let's say you want to map this policy profile for a specific WLAN profile in a tag you can do that as well so go into the policy tag click on the policy tag where you want to implement the change uh, select the WLAN profile and under the action you can go ahead and edit it so you would be able to see the new policy profile we created before here right so corp was created you can see corp and then save this config then again you can go ahead and review and provision the change this is going to take you through the VCR workflow where you would be able to validate what config is going to be pushed onto the device and once you do that you can go ahead and deploy the change and uh, submit this is also again going to show you what is the status that it's editing the policy tag and that it is successful right now so you can go ahead and validate that once you go there and see that the policy profile has indeed been changed that brings me to the end of this video here are some references which you could use to get more insights on per device configuration with Catalyst Center. Uh, for more training videos, please visit the Cisco Catalyst Center YouTube channel. Thank you.